Hi there, it's Dennis. Uh, just a quick note, I've had a error message pop up on my card twice um, since owning it uh, for about a month. I've got uh, 1,500 kilometers on it. It's on the latest version of the software, which is uh, 2020.48.35.5. So the error message uh, showed up on day 28 of owning the car. Um, and then it went away after driving it and bringing the battery down to about 32%. I was able to start charging again. Um, and then I scheduled an appointment, service appointment with Tesla, uh, which is today. So it's, you know, almost two weeks from that time, a week and a bit. And yesterday, parking it uh, in the evening, I got the same error message. So let's go ahead and we'll look at the two uh, notifications that I see. So down here by the car, the first one you see is battery charge level reduced, unable to charge battery to 100%. So for your knowledge, I charge my car to 90%. I usually leave it plugged in in the garage. I've got a 1450 NEMA and I've charged it to 100% twice. Both times I charge it to 100% for a short trip out to Hope, BC, just to check out uh, that supercharger and to go for a nice drive so really don't charge beyond 90 percent other than that and then if i look at the alerts this is the alert that pops up it's a bms underscore a o 29 maximum battery charge level reduced unable to charge battery to 100 percent um, in fact if i plug in the charger right now which i tried the other day it just clicks and it looks like it's not charging. It just keeps going in and out of charging. And when I look at the Tesla app on my cell phone under charging, it says charging when it's not plugged in. And I'll put a screenshot of that in here. Uh, I do have a screenshot of it, so I'll put a screenshot on it. So I'm just waiting for my appointment, which is at eight o'clock in the morning at 7.30. And I'm hoping uh, this will resolve because I do not want to damage the battery and uh, being it's the most important piece. So I will come back after my service appointment and I will let you know what the results are. Thank you. That's the next day. I'm just following up on the drop off of my car yesterday at eight o'clock in the morning. They gave me an option for a rental car or $100 in Uber credits for those that don't want to drive a nice car. So I took the rental car. Got a notification within the app that a part was purchased or ordered and that my car would be fixed by February 5th. Morning, I woke up to another email. And in that email, which I will include in this, uh, it outlines that they ordered a part. That part appears to me to be the battery. So they were replacing the battery after 1500 kilometers. So yes, there was an issue and I'm glad that they're fixing it. So, so far, uh, the service I'm getting from Tesla is outstanding. Uh, I wish it was a person that I was talking to instead of the app, but at least the app gives you updates. And in the email, they mentioned that they would be updating twice a week. So I should see another update later this week or early next week on the status of that part that they've ordered. Um, I will continue to update this and hopefully we'll find uh, uh, a car sitting in my driveway again next Friday with a brand new battery. T today is February 9th and it looks like I'm not going to get my car back till February 23rd. I just got a call back from a service rep in Vancouver and they told me that they have not received the battery but they should get it by February 20th so I should get it back by February 23rd uh, we'll just have to wait and see